guys and welcome or welcome back to the channel. I have a bit of a Felissimo epic today and I will explain as we go along. So I have not one, not two, but three sets of Felissimo pencils here. So this is my monthly Felissimo subscription. For anybody that hasn't watched these videos before, um, it's a 500 coloured pencil subscription. You get 25 months of 20 packs of pencils. They come in these lovely sturdy pencil cases. It's a non-cancellable subscription, so it continues to run until your 25 sets of pencils um, come through. The price is dependent on obviously the yen conversion and the delivery prices at the time um, but I've found that mine run uh, steadily at £30 a month and they only seem to waver by about a pound or so either way. Um, so we will stack these up and as always I will unbox them with you. I haven't touched these, <laughs> been very good. I've only just unpackaged them and we will swatch them out today. So as always um, they come in a, a nice sturdy box with some bubble packs and um, they come wrapped in uh, bubble wrap and in a cellophane bag so loads of plastic unfortunately but it does mean that they come to you um, nicely in one piece I've never had a broken pencil this is the 321 to 340 set the sophisticated set you always get a little craft project with them and the swatch sheet of pencils and as I said they come in these gorgeous sturdy plastic cases um, with the foreman that protects the leads and they always look like these big gorgeous square pencils they're um, a very large size pencil and um, so you do need a special pencil sharpener for them larger than um, your normal size would be um, so I have my little swatch pad I'm going to just pull these out and very quickly lay them in number order so we can swatch them uh, and we will see the colours together so yes my interesting story my December box never came well at least it didn't come in December I found my pencils arrive anything between the 18th to about the 25th of the month usually um, and December's did not arrive but of course it's December it's Christmas um, so I waited a little bit uh, left them a bit longer waited till the beginning of January and then thought right so I will need to contact them and uh, see what's going on so I emailed Felicimo at the beginning of January to say you know my December box hadn't come and I'd always been a little bit worried about what would happen if you know one of my sets just didn't rock up for some reason um, but they were very good they got back to me and said please give it until the 15th of January just with it being the Christmas month and obviously you know they were just to give it enough time to see if they arrive and then if I hadn't received my box by the 15th of the month to please get back in touch with them and they would sort it out with me um, but lo and behold um, on the 11th of the month my box of pencils rocked up and then a couple of days later my January box rocked up and then by the time I was ready to film we were into February so I thought mm, I might as well just wait for my February box to arrive at that point rather than do two videos um, so hence the three box <laughs> February Felicimo swatch so I'm sorry if you don't like swatching guys um, but for those that do Oh, I think you'll enjoy this one. So, the sophisticated set, number 321, Cleopatra's Temple. I'm going to bring you guys in so uh, you can see these, as always. Um, these gorgeous sets are supposed to be kind of curated into a set of pencils that you can use all on one page. 322 Ancient Sandstone. And I'm not sure they always get that quite right, to be honest, but... 323 Seabed Sand. 
but they do have a gorgeous array of pencils. Um, I think I am now uh, nine months in <laughs> to my 25 month set. A 324 yoga meditation. And uh, albeit definitely a novelty kind of thing. They are beautiful pencils. They're not amazing pencils. They're not, you know, they're not worth the amount of money you're going to pay by the time you're done. There are better artist pencils out there. They're definitely just more of a novelty collector thing. 325 Distinguished Darling. So, of course, I'm never going to really recommend these to anyone because it is kind of ridiculous. But, you know. As a fun kind of hobby thing, sure. 326 Lady Lux. And um, as crazy as it is, I do use my pencils. I'm not going to spend all this money on 500 pencils and not use them. Uh, especially such gorgeous colours. 327 Creative Cool. Albeit I don't use them all that often. I think that's mainly because... I don't know. I feel like I'm just waiting for the set to be complete. <laughs> for them to count. Uh, 328 Gown Grand. But they do do a great colour range. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm trying to get ten to each set so I can use them as my swatch chart later. 329 Nautical Slumber. Three thirty perplexed polish. And let's be honest, if it's nothing else, we collect them for the names. <laughs> it's like being in a, a DIY shop and checking out the paint swatches, isn't it? Um, 331 Camelot Curtsy. I think that's where they get their names from as well. They definitely sound like paint tubs to me. Three thirty two flight fabulous. <laughs> Can definitely see this being a nautical kind of page. Uh, three thirty three royal prince. Moving into some pretty purples now. Uh, 334 Chic Shatter. Definitely feel like we've got our sand, sea and sky going on in this set. Uh, 335 Lilac Drop. Three thirty six Enlightened Triumph. Three thirty seven Bridesmaids Gown. Yeah, I think I've seen a few bridesmaids in that colour actually. Can't disagree. Three thirty eight Plum Perfection. They are a nice smooth set, this one actually. Three thirty nine Corner Conversations. Especially for purples. Purples can be tricky. Whereas these are quite nice. 340 Violet Beauty. And that is the sophisticated set. Gorgeous. Right, I'm going to repack these and I will be right with you. Okay, box number two. And we have 
fruitful number 221 to 240 and this is this very lovely bright tropical looking box definitely fruitful uh, again i'm going to just pull these out and pop them into number order for the swatch Watch these. So 221 Dragon Fruit Juice. These are going to have some gorgeous pinks in, I think. Two twenty two Raspberry Shake. Two twenty three Berry Bounce. Again, they're very, very, very similar colours. I suppose that's the problem with 500 pencils. 224, lovely lychee. Um, it must get quite difficult to get <laughs> different shades out of things. That is beautiful, love how pale that is. I mean, don't get me wrong, they are different colours. And once you've got your bigger set, um, you won't mind it's just you know when you've only got a couple of sets it's quite difficult to have such similar colors and uh, 225 grape ice cream definitely find these are becoming a bit more comprehensive as my collection expands with them 226 blueberry cream Two twenty seven lime sour, two twenty eight honeydew splash. That one's a little bit more scratchy. Definitely the curse of the fluorescence for you. Two twenty nine sweet squeeze. That is a beautiful kind of pale yellow green. 230 Seriously Starfruit. Uh, 232 Banana Bell 233 Golden Kiwi 234 Mango Magic Two thirty five Mandarin Appeal, spelled very strangely. Two thirty six Clementine Divine, that is a pretty colour. Two thirty seven Watermelon Washover. Two thirty eight Guava Goodness back into the pinks again. Two thirty nine Jelly Jiggle.
and 240 rose apple. That is that nice bright set. Again though without any dark colours can you imagine trying to I mean if you're like a, a pale pastel -y kind of person well not pastel considering how bright they are but you know what I mean if you like your page quite pale quite bright then it would probably be a good set for you but without any darks I know I would struggle to create an entire colouring page but that is set to again I'm going to pop this away and I will be right back okay final set number three we have party 461 to 480 and this well now this really is a bright set this uh this hurts the eyeballs to be honest and we've actually got i mean we've got some royal fluorescence in here but also some darker colors which is nice to see so again i'm gonna pull um pull them out into number order and then we will swatch these crazy colors out wow they are really bright guys right they hurt to look at a little bit i'm not gonna lie Okay, last set. Let's do this. Uh, Four sixty one lightning strikes. Uh, it's just a, a straight up fluorescent yellow. Wow, I don't colour in fluorescent. I'm not gonna lie, but um, that is probably the smoothest fluorescent yellow that I've tried. Um. It's actually not quite a bad pencil. 462 Bright Fizz. We are a fluorescent orange. I think that would be pretty difficult to get a proper layer down, to be honest. That one's not quite as nice. 463 Glowing Eyes. Wow. Another fluorescent orange. These will probably be gorgeous on black. 463, nope, sorry, 464 braided ribbon. I don't think my camera is doing this fluorescent justice. These are crazy bright. You know what? I think, I think I might have some black paper hiding in here somewhere. I think... <laughs> I do think that's something not to be missed. Let's have a little look. Let's just see. See if they'll keep there. No. What a shame. You can see the colours, but I'm not going to hold up quite as well as I would have wished for. Could probably get a really nice kind of, um, you know, Aurora Borealis or jellyfish out of those, though. Probably depends. I wonder if they draw nicer than they. See how they lay down as. Okay. They would probably sketch out nicer than the colour with, quite possibly. Right, where was I? Got sidetracked again. 465 Birthday Girl. But yeah, you're going to have to take my word for it that these are really, really fluorescent in person. They are crazy. 466 Bittersweet Zing.
467 Festival Fanatic. Four sixty eight girls night. Getting into more of those kind of party neon kind of colours. Four sixty nine, she's fierce. Yes, she is. That is very, very pink. And four seventy feeling flurry, whatever that means. Again, just so similar though. It's all very, very, very similar. Uh, 471 Award Ceremony. Four seventy two whoop whoop. Fair enough. If nothing else, so a cheerful set. Four seventy three I'll be late. Four seventy four just for you. That's a nice colour. 475 endless possibility Ooh. that is a uh... mm, not my favorite 476 expert esprit that one's much nicer i feel they definitely could have left that one out 477 ecstatic haze bit of fluorescent green now that is a uh, not a smooth pencil at all 478 emerald night that one however is kind of gorgeous 479 lime yours just just straight up fluorescent green that's a bit smoother um, 480 is carnival flowers so we've come all the way back around to a yellow those two are actually really nice and smooth um, but again I'm not you wouldn't I don't know if you'll get an opaque colour out of that just shake a little dust off there um, and that is your party pack that is that is a bright set of pencils. Um, the camera definitely doesn't do these justice. <laughs> they are, they are luminous, most certainly. Um, as always, guys, I hope you found this a little bit of fun, a little bit of interest. If you were, you know, considering um, subscribing to this, I know some people prefer to see the colours they're going to get, some of the packs they're going to get, or they just like to live vicariously through the people that are crazy enough to buy them and watch them, so watch them out instead. Can't blame you at all. Um, as always, guys, if you found the video useful, please give it a thumbs up, and if you enjoy the channel, please do subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.